हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर थ्री ऑन इन्फाइनेट सीरीज इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंथ टर्म टेस्ट फॉर डाइवर्जेंस दिस टेस्ट इज हेल्पफुल इन डिसाइडिंग द डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ ए गिवन सीरीज सो वी डिस्कस व्हाट इज एंथ टर्म टेस्ट फॉर डाइवर्जेंस बिफोर दैट वी अंडरस्टैंड दिस थियरम this theorem says that if series sigma an is convergent then limit of its nth term is always zero so if we consider negative statement of this theorem this theorem says that if series is convergent then limit of its nth term must be zero so if we consider two statements here one statement is statement a sigma an is convergent and another statement is statement b that limit of nth term is zero so here statement a implies statement b and we know that if statement a implies statement b then negative of statement b will always imply negative of statement a so negative of statement b is limit of nth term is not equal to 0 or limit of nth term does not exist and negative statement of a is sigma an is not convergent or sigma an is divergent so this is nothing but nth term test for divergence nth term test for divergence says that if limit of nth term of a series does not exist or limit of nth term is different from zero this is the negative statement for this statement limit of nth term is zero negative statement of this statement b is either limit is different from zero or limit fails to exist so if limit of nth term of a given series does not exist or if limit exists then it is different from zero then series an is always divergent so this is very easy test to check the divergence of the series this test says that if limit of nth term is different from zero then series is always divergent but if limit of nth term is zero then this test is not applicable this test is applicable if limit of nth term is different from zero or if limit of nth term does not exist then series is divergent if limit of nth term is zero then we require more convergence tests to check the convergence of the series which we will discuss after this lecture in our upcoming lectures we will be discussing those type of tests for convergence of a series so now we consider some series in which we can apply this nth term test for divergence first series is sigma n square here nth term is a n equal to n square the nth term of given series is a n equal to n square so if we consider uh, limit of nth term then it is limit of n square as n tends to infinity and uh, this is infinity square so limit of nth term is different from zero so therefore by nth term test given series is divergent by nth term test for divergence so we are using this result that if limit of nth term is different from zero or fails to exist then given series is always divergent this is another uh, series here nth term is n plus 1 over n which we can rewrite as 1 plus 1 by n so if we find out limit of a n as n tends to infinity we have limit of 1 plus 1 by n 
as n tends to infinity. Now limit of 1 is 1 as n tends to infinity and limit of 1 by n is 1 by infinity which is 0. So limit is 1. So therefore limit of nth term is different from 0. Therefore limit of nth term is not equal to 0. So therefore given series which is sigma n plus 1 over n n equal to 1 to infinity is divergent by nth term test for divergence or by nth term test so this is very easy result you just have to find out or you have to check whether limit of nth term exists or not here nth term is minus 1 raised to n plus 1 and if we consider uh, n as odd integer and n as even integer if n is odd n plus 1 is even so we have minus 1 raised to even power which is 1 if n is even n plus 1 is odd so we have minus 1 here so we can see if we n is odd then we have constant value 1 all the terms are 1 for n odd and if n is even all the terms are minus 1 so half of the terms are going near to 1 and half of the terms are going near to minus 1 as n tends to infinity so limit of a n is not unique therefore limit of a n does not exist because if n is odd limit will be 1 if n is even limit will be minus 1 so limit of a n does not exist therefore by nth term test for divergence given series is divergent So in this way we can decide the divergence of a series if nth term test is applicable. We consider one more series. Here nth term is minus n divided by 2n plus 5. So we try to find out limit of nth term which is equal to limit n tending to infinity minus n divided by 2n plus 5. So if we consider n tending to infinity in the numerator we have minus infinity here also we have infinity so this is infinity by infinity type in determinate form so we can apply L hospital rule so we will differentiate numerator and denominator with respect to variable n so derivative of minus n is 1 minus n is minus 1 with respect to n and derivative of 2n plus 5 is 2 so we are applying L hospital rule and uh, limit of constant is constant so we have minus 1 by 2 which is non-zero therefore given series is divergent by nth term test for divergence. So nth term test is applicable if limit of nth term is non-zero or limit fails to exist. Uh, suppose we consider series sigma 1 by n square n equal to 1 to infinity. Then here nth term is 1 by n equal to n square and the limit of nth term is limit of 1 by n square which is 0. So here uh, we cannot say anything about the convergence or divergence of this series. Here nth term test is not applicable. So for this type of series we will think different convergence tests in the upcoming lectures. So there are some other convergence tests uh, which we can use to decide the convergence or divergence of those type of series where nth term test is not applicable. So this is all about this session. I hope you like it. 
थैंक यू वेरी